It's the wonderful Wizard of War on Atari 2600. Keeping it old school, Wizard of War is one of the classic Midway titles that I've actually become acquainted with more recently and have found it to be one of the better arcade games I've played in a while. It reminds me a lot of Berserk mixed with some elements of Pac-Man. It's a lot of fun. It's a terrific game. And a lot of these old school arcade titles that came over to the Atari 2600 back in the early 80s are hit or miss. Some of them are really good, like Berserk. Others are god-awful, like Pac-Man. Wizard of War makes a very nice transition to the Atari 2600 because graphically, the game is extremely simple. There's really not much to it. Like Berserk, it really relies on the gameplay. The blue lines look like blue lines, and the yellow blocky figures look like yellow blocky figures. The programming is also done well. The game suffers from a lot of flicker, and it doesn't have that awesome voice dialogue that is so memorable from the arcade version. The game actually looks better on a television than it does here when I optimize these for LCD monitors. Some of the games that suffer from a lot of flicker look really funky on the internet. If you're a purist and you want to play Wizard of War on an old school system, this game cartridge does not disappoint. It's one of those CBS game cartridges, the gray ones, just like Tunnel Runner. And a big thank you to Nathan Allen from Super Mega Turbo in El Paso, Texas for sending me the game cartridge after I reviewed Wizard of War for the PSP. It's also on PlayStation 2 in the Midway Arcade Treasures Volume 2 collection for those of you with PS2s. Awesome game, one that you should definitely check out if you like Berserk or Robotron or some of the cool old school science fiction games. Got him! That bitch wizard! What you really need in this game are proximity mines. And then he would just appear somewhere randomly using his magic wizard powers, hear two beeps, and then explode. Wizard of War can be played one or two players on the Atari when you play in the single player mode like I'm doing. You want your controller plugged into the player two slot. Because that's logical, why wouldn't you do that? That always confuses the hell out of me when I play an Atari game like that. It takes me 20 minutes to figure out what I've done wrong. This is an example of an arcade game done right for Atari 2600. The fundamentals of the gameplay are left intact. While there's a bit of degradation in the graphics and the sound department, and slight changes to the gameplay with just the pacing and the speed. The War Luck is easier to shoot in this version. And the Wizard appeared a lot more frequently. If you like Wizard of War or Berserk, if you're a fan of Berserk on the Atari 2600, check this game out for Atari. It's not one of the really easy cartridges to find, but it's worth it. It's a great two-player game. It's a great one-player game. Check out Wizard of war. W-O-R. It's a place. I don't know where. But wherever it is, it's a happy, magical, wonderful place. With a goddamn obnoxious wizard.